Well, hey, good morning. It's uh, 6 15 in the morning, and it's October. It's harvest time. I'm exercising rain. Find a horse to be exercised here this morning. Yesterday, at the end of the day, we had taken the John Deere mower over on the kind of northeast side of the uh, horseshoe shaped field there and uh, we cut the grass we went over there and we bailed it and wrapped it for silage got about 15 150 centimeter silage bales wrapped over there that well at some point we're going to have to go get uh, this is going to be a long day. Uh, there's going to be a lot of gameplay going into this episode. Because uh, we're going to be really busy. It's a really big cornfield we're going to try and harvest. And we've got soybean fields to get to. We've got just a lot of work <laughs> all over the place that needs to get done. So, with some creative editing, some jump cuts, some time lapses, we're going to get through it. I'm going to be playing for a long time. We'll condense it down to about an hour for you. Alright, Rain, where are you? Here we go. <laughs> I believe that that should complete our tasks here this morning for the horses. Let's take a look. All of our horses should be 100% on cleanliness and daily riding. Interesting to note. Um, King and Rain are both mature. Uh, they've reached puberty. And they're reproduce, both reproducing. I think that's one thing I'm looking maybe forward to in uh, FS25 is maybe having the male and female animals. But yeah, everything's okay here with the horses. Let's not dilly dally. <laughs> Hop in the pickup here. Run over to the cow barn. Um, our youngest calves are now six months old, which makes me want to go buy um, more. <laughs> Maybe I should have them a year apart. I don't know. I'm going to go get some more beef cattle this morning since we have our, um, you know, shoot, where are we going to park? Right here, I guess. Um, since we have our cattle trailer. I'm going to go get some more cows. Check on the cows here. So we've got 25 month old Holsteins. Um, 18 month and 6 month. I'm going to go get 36 more. How are we doing? We're doing okay on food. Not great. Doing all right. 
Let me check on the sheep, see how this, things are going over here. We're working on our second pallet, but we're not very far. So yeah, when we put more hay in, it filled the, the troughs inside the building here as well. And so our sheep are fine. They got plenty of food. Okay. So we'll go grab the cab over. The cattle box will go into town. And, uh... Pick up some more Angus. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get equipment out. Is that hiding? No, it's hiding. taking out that stop sign. <laughs> can't open the back of it so we're gonna get 36 Angus calves I can get out of here without taking out that stop sign.
driving at the farm now with a load of cattle or calves. Bothers me a little that you don't get like an indication in the lower right of the fact that you're loaded. <laughs> My money went down. I'm sure hoping there's cows in there. sure that those open in there we go select move to husbandry yes delivered so now we got a lot more cows in here all right so we'll probably eat a little faster okay let's get ready to start start the corn harvest keeping on thinking of other things I can work on <laughs> because it's so big Oh boy. I guess the sooner we get started, the better off we'll be though, right? So... 62.50 on the grain cart. I think it needs work. Mm. 
<laughs> Not sure what that was. It's a pipe. Uh. Whoop! A little more repairs to do then. John Deere tractors are just so expensive to maintain. <laughs> Not even funny. Good weather today. It'd be nice if we had a second combine we could work with, but we only have the one header. We got one corn head. Maybe next season. I don't know, where are we going to be doing corn next season? The field that was oat that we started putting manure down on, that should be our next corn field. Probably should put corn in one of the others, maybe the former uh, alfalfa field that we put the soybeans in. Maybe that one could be corn next. So I'll go around and try and get a couple of headlands going and then we'll see if we can get it set up so a worker can start working on it. go take a look at the trees and see how they're growing. It's been a while since we've been up that way. We can cut a few trees. It's been quite a while. I 
I don't plant trees often, so I'm not sure how quickly they grow. I did a bunch on six ashes in FS19, but in FS22, not so much. Matter of fact, other than Silver Run Forest, it's really the first time I've done logging. Okay, well, over here by the woods so I get to check out the trees. And then I gotta go get the 6250 in the grain cart. So they're still pretty small. They don't look like they've changed much since last time we saw them. Okay, so uh, let's see. Not quite sure the best way to get back to the farm. It's over that way. Maybe this way might be better. Or go through the field. <laughs> nah, no, get lost in the cornfield. That'd be a nightmare. I need to pre-position the pickup or the gator or something so I can get around a little quicker. I think we're going to be harvesting corn all day and probably into the hours of darkness. <laughs> and that's a field I dream of getting a contract to do. I bet it would pay a lot, but I, don't, I haven't seen one on the contract board. nice when FS25 comes out and the workers will be proficient enough to be able to just start a field and do a field by themselves without you having to do the headlands and kind of set them up to get started just to go straight back and forth. Looking forward to it. PC guys have had, what's that mod called? Uh, course play for quite some time. I think they had it in FS19 too. I think that should be good. I hope it should be good. Good from here. It's all right in third person too. Shoot that down a little bit too. Set it out. Down. Go again. 
Oh, that corner looks nice. Last time, I'm not gonna walk this time. <laughs> I'll take the pick up. I have these strategically located around the field. I shouldn't have to walk very far again. Oh, here's 6250 R with the green cart. Let's go fill it up. Get a little bigger green cart, I think. So this, this isn't going to empty the grain tank on the combine. I don't know if it'll fill it 100% with corn. It will. Crane cart though. Need to look for a more modern, maybe a more efficient one. This one's pretty cool. It looks good. A lot of the things that look cool aren't necessarily the most efficient. <laughs> it's a beautiful October morning. Harvesting corn. And we're back at it. go.
but it's already lunchtime. I mean, yeah, we did that as a time lapse with a lot of jump cuts in it. Uh, and we've been working for what, over three hours now, and we put a slight dent in the field. Uh, we've emptied out the semi truck one time, and then I moved it over onto the auger to put it into the bins and I think we're just going to park it there and we'll run over with the grain cart, dump it in there and then drop it out the belly dump of the trailer and into the uh, silo that way. Unconventional, but I've seen it done before. I had this crazy notion that <laughs> I was going to be able to juggle a couple of things at once. I, I'm realizing right now just how crazy that probably was. Um, there we go. Whoop! I went too far. There we go. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be eating lunch at the cab. Of the tractor today. Because we're going to be doing a lot of carting. But I, I'm hoping I can get the alfalfa cut also. I'm going to run over there and try and see if I can get that done. Now that I've got the field, I think at a point where I can get a worker started over here, uh, maybe I can get something done in the amount of time it takes him to... <laughs> you know, fill his, the grain tank on the combine. This is not probably the best setup that we got here as well. Cool driving around the uh, the bins that has to be done but I think it might work so the idea is that's not visually pleasing at all let me get off the end here and back into it I was afraid of being too close to it when I put the auger pipe up Um, yeah, it's going to take a while. Let me, let me speed through this. The discharge on it is just so, um, slow. <laughs> that, yeah, it doesn't lend itself well to making the videos. I gotta turn that to be able to open the dump on the trailer. I gotta be inside here. And I gotta have it on. Pretty sure that's the way it works. So there we go. So that's how we're doing it. We just dump from the uh, grain cart into the back of the trailer and then we just drop it out the back of the trailer. into the uh, into the bin that way. That's empty. Truck off. I'll go get the rest out of the combine and then I'll get a worker started. I'm going to grab the John Deere mower. then I'll go down and try and cut that alfalfa as quickly as I can while the worker continues to work up here. Maybe I'll get somewhere, maybe I won't, I don't know. But we've got too much 
to get done here to not try. So once that's empty, I'll hire the worker. Off he goes. works on that we'll see if we can get going on the alfalfa I'm only bringing the green cart over here so I don't have to walk so far park right here let's see I hope it's still in pretty good shape. So while it may not work very good to do the grass in the ditches, maybe it'll work well for this. Of course, now that I think about it, is the working width of this more or less <laughs> than our mower set up? Because we got two mowers. Probably not a great idea, but hey, let's do it. This is new piece of equipment to us, so let's let's use it. And actually, I could get a worker going over here. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I can get something done that way. Uh, we'll get it started, and hopefully, a worker can finish it for us. And then we'll get over here. We'll pet it. And. I don't know. I have not. I have not done this yet, so this will be the first time we're gonna try doing this. It'd be nice if we were just bailing it straight, but I think we're gonna tet it to make um, alfalfa hay. Will it work? I think it should. There's no reason why it ought not to. Oh, I should probably. Make sure I'm in the field getting alfalfa, right? And not getting grass from the edge. I think it's working. Does this oh I'm getting it mixed. You gotta be careful. That's why people say paint the edge of the field with like dirt or something. That's alfalfa. I think I got some grass back here though. I don't know. Maybe it's alright. I don't know. No, that's grass, right? That different color. I don't know. It's hard to say. Find out when we do the bales, I guess. If we were, if we ran over this, that was, that's definitely grass. If we ran over this with our baler wrapper, it would probably wrap grass or the alfalfa. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. If I'm getting grass. I'm getting alfalfa. Time lapse two headlands.
Okay, I wasn't as quick as I wanted to be doing those two headlands, but I got slowed down a little bit with the uneven terrain. I was getting the header stuck on the ground a couple of times that I had to deal with. I'm going to bring the mini-map up. I'm going to try and go on 270 here, I think. Uh, if I can, I can get everything. Can I get to the other end of the field? That's the, the question. The grain tank's full in the combine in the field, so i got to get over there. But I think if I can get this set right... Set it on 270, we can drop it down. I'll hire the worker now, I guess. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Alright. Maybe I'll go to the other end and come back. What's he gonna do? What's the worker gonna do? Okay, looks like he's going to go to the other side, turn around and head back. It should be all right. Oh, what's she going to do? Sorry. Didn't mean to misgender my uh, helper here. So once she gets turned, I'll hop out here, get out of her way, close that. Yeah. It should be all right. She should be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. You'll see. Fingers crossed. One o'clock now. It's been an hour. Wow. I need vehicles like pre-positioned everywhere to save myself these long walks. Alright, we'll get this offloaded. We're not gonna be able to get it all, are we? I'm trying to be realistic as possible. These auger pipes, depending on what they what kind they are. Uh, sometimes once they get the corn in them, you can't fold them back up, depending on how the uh, pipes are designed. So I'm not sure if this combine is one of those or not. Uh, turn on. There we go. I don't think this is, this will fill us up. And I'm hesitant to start the worker on it again because I didn't even have a completely empty one here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'll take this one put it in the uh, put it in the back of the truck and then we'll come back and get the rest of it And then we'll start the worker off and then I guess I can get a tether ready to go over and try and ted the alfalfa maybe I can get that started I'll, just, I'll pull just past it that way I'll hit it And again, uh, I'll fast forward through this because this is the slowest discharging grain cart in the game. All right, there we go. Yeah, it takes a while, which it's not good for the videos because what? 
like a minute or two of actual time so if I'm over there doing it I mean we'd spend a minute or two of the video just uh, trying to put the put the grain into the trailer out of the uh, grain car okay that that was it I should have let him go <laughs> Keep going. What were you doing? Okay. I don't want to get too close. I'm confused and make him think he needs to uh, offload into me. Okay, so where am I going? I think. park here again but I need to go over and get the international 1246 and grab the gator Marginally better than walking. Here's a problem I have. The manure pile is getting way too full again. I've got to spread manure <laughs> to get rid of <laughs> to get rid of some of that. So I can spread the manure before I mulch, so I guess I could prioritize trying to work on that also because I think in another day my manure pile will be full and my manure spreader is already full trying to reduce what's in the manure pile, which means no place to put anything there. If I lower that down, it should be able to get out. Then we can raise it back up. How long do you think I have before the worker's done again? Probably not a lot. If I can do the outside, I could get a worker to do the tedding also. Well, what do you think? I think I can pull that off? I could do that. I could just ted the outside. I don't think it'll hurt the alfalfa at all. Just go right down the middle and
it's almost six o'clock now. I think we're probably gonna end up eating supper in the cab of the tractor as well. This is ended up taking an awful long time. All right, well, this has been a challenging afternoon, but it's almost six now. Got the worker still going in the field. Um, and we'll keep going on into the night, but I'm concerned about that alfalfa field over there. So I ran into a couple of problems. First off with the uh, John Deere mower, started hitting that micro terrain and uh, the worker would get the header stuck. And so he would just go ahead and quick on me. So I had to get him going again on that. And then uh, with this, I could not hire a worker to tet it for me. So I ended up having to do it all myself. So we're battling daylight here. And I also know that I have some weather coming. I've got rain in the forecast for October 2. But I can't see it. Uh... I can't see when it's going to start, and I'm worried about that alfalfa in the field. So what I want to do is I want to put in a weather station like I did on the Ohio farm. Not quite sure where to put it, though. Can I put it here? I don't know if it should be close to the trees or away from the trees. Uh, I don't want it to be too close to the house and everything. How about right here on this corner? I'm going to try a modded one that's a little different. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that one uh, works well for us. As always, before you do something like this, save the game before you start. Uh, and if you don't like the way it turns out, you can quit and come back in where you left off. So I'm going to go in the build menu. I'm going to look for that weather station. I'm going to drop it in right here. All right, so we got the weather station in. It it did uh, kind of mess with the ground a little bit. We got a solar panel there. <laughs> I think that'll be fine. So we should be able to look into the weather now and see out a little farther. Actually, it's kind of cool looking. Kind of neat compared to the other ones. A little bigger. I don't know what the little amber. Th I don't know what some of that stuff is, but I do hope I don't clip it with something. But, yeah, okay, so let's check the weather now and see when we can get that rain. So now here we're in the forecast. You can see on October 2, we've got rain coming. We should be able to go out far enough that we can see it now. Okay, nice. It's not going to rain until late tomorrow afternoon, and that is a huge relief. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop, though. We're going to keep working out there in the field continue to uh, do this harvest probably well after dark and maybe even try and get the corn done but that's a relief that we'll be able to get on that alfalfa tomorrow and get it baled oh he's nearly got a full grain tank i better hop in there and head out and get him uh but uh if you enjoyed it <laughs> hit that like button if you don't subscribe yet why not it don't cost nothing we'll see you next time Thank you.